Some of us are afraid to look like fanatics. You know, we're afraid. We are afraid to look like fanatics. But unbelievers are fanatics of their unbelieving. They are fanatical about it. They sing it in their songs. They, 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 they carry it in their walking steps. They carry it in their dressing. They carry it in their way of talking. They are fanatical about the world's way of doing things. Then a believer is economical. Economical. Instead, he compromises with them to tap into their dressing tap into their way of talking, tap so that at least he won't be too different. You are embarrassed to be a believer. You see a child of God wearing a skirt that you're almost naked. Where did you get that from? Certainly not from Christ. A skirt that makes you almost naked, defeating the purpose for wearing clothes. Where did you get that from? Where did you get that from? Or you wear clothes where your internals are transparent. Where are you? That's not the spirit of Christ. That's not the spirit of Christ. It's a worldly spirit. It's a spirit of this world. It's not of Christ. You are under an influence. Somebody is manipulating you like a remote control. You have entered into an influence where you are forced to act in certain ways and behave certain ways even though you know that that's not your comfort zone. I'm teaching good here. Please pay attention. Change their dressing because they think what they are wearing is old fashioned. How do you know dressing well clothed is old-fashioned to the world. You know that? To, for a woman to dress and cover her nakedness well is old-fashioned. The world doesn't like that. And they won't celebrate that. The world wants you to be as naked as possible. As naked as possible. If a lady now snaps a picture with her pant and brazier, she will have a million likes. If a woman dresses full from head to leg, she will have one like. <laughs> and that one like is her husband or her father or her mother. Or Naim like her. <laughs> to avoid too much shame. So he liking him by himself. If I'm teaching good, say I hear you. Don't be depressed, harassed, abuse by facebook likes they don't like you you are a fool moo moo your mother wasted her school fees on your head if your approval is likes on facebook you are a waste of resources I'm teaching good. Can't you see that the world wants women to be as naked as possible? That's the spirit of the world. It's not the spirit of God. You are not of the world. They hate you. There's nothing you will do to please them. They still hate you. So you can as well accept your identity and stay where Christ has kept you and enjoy the life that is yours in Christ. If I'm teaching, say I hear you. Don't let them design our fashion. Don't let them. Design your dressing to glorify Jesus. Because that's what we live for. Papa, are you saying we should dress like grandmothers? No, did I say that? I just said make sure you're covered. Don't show us your nakedness. It's only when food is exposed that flies will feast on it. Once you open food, flies will feast. But if food is covered, those flies are not born. A word is enough for the wise. The only people that open food are tracks is flies. And flies like it. Just keep the food open. We will gather there. We will urinate there. And we will pick as much as we can pick. 
And after flies are finished, ants will come. All of them will gather where food is unprotected. <laughs> Teaching good? That's a parable of the elders. <laughs> Say it very loud. I am not of this world. 